In just a few days, it will be a hundred years since Tutankhamun's tomb was discovered in Egypt's Valley of the Kings. To mark the anniversary, we've taken a look at some on-screen classics to separate fact from fiction. The Rock got his first big movie break in 2002's Scorpion King, in which he plays the eponymous muscled hero. And it may surprise you to learn there were in fact two real Scorpion Kings who were among the first ancient Egyptian rulers around 5,000 years ago. One of their tombs was found in 1989, and it appears to have formed the blueprint for more elaborate later crypts like Tutankhamun's. The Rock is an Akkadian, a member of the civilization that, although real, was unfortunately not led by the Scorpion King. And there would not have been any horses at that time in ancient Egypt, nor would there have been any six-pack toting heroes wearing trousers there is no evidence of them being worn before around 3,000 years ago. So while The Rock cooked up some interesting historical facts, he's let down by the details. Just like in Indiana Jones, many Nazis were in fact obsessed with ancient Egypt and the occult. A top Nazi Egyptologist was Hermann Juncker, who led digs in Egypt, just like Paul Freeman's character in Raiders of the Lost Ark. The ancient artifact they are hunting for, the Ark of the Covenant, is believed to be real. According to the biblical account, it housed the two stone tablets of the Ten Commandments and was created according to instructions sent from God to Moses. It was so sacred that touching it was believed to result in instant death, but whether that was by being melted alive, we'll never know. The Ark's whereabouts are a matter of dispute, with possibilities including modern-day Ethiopia, but it certainly isn't in the Raiders of the Lost Ark's made-up blood of souls. The Nazis did not actually try to find the Ark, but there was a whole movement of Nazi archaeology that sought to prove Aryan superiority, and Hitler's deputy Heinrich Himmler headed up an attempt to find the so-called Lost City of Atlantis. The Mummy tells the story of adventurer Rick O'Connell and his accidental unleashing of cursed high priest Imhotep, who is obsessed with being reunited with his great love, Ankh Es Sunamun. Imhotep and his lover, depicted as the pharaoh's mistress, were real people, but the on-screen versions are, as you might expect, the stuff of fantasy. In real life, Imhotep was the architect of the Pyramid of the Djoser, which was built in around 2650 BC but the flashback scenes in The Mummy are set in 1300 BC in Thebes, where there are no pyramids, despite the fact that they loom in the background in the production. And Ankes and Amun was no pharaoh's mistress, but in fact the great royal wife of Tutankhamun. As for scarab beetles, they are definitely not carnivorous flesh strippers. In reality, they eat dung. Despite being made in 1963, Cleopatra is actually one of the more accurate films about ancient Egypt. Yes, Cleopatra really was smuggled in a rolled up carpet, or maybe bedding, to meet Julius Caesar for the first time in around 46 BC. And whilst Cleopatra and Caesar did not actually get married, they did have a son who was named Caesarion. After Caesar's assassination, Cleopatra is seen agreeing to marry Mark Antony, and the pair really did tie the knot. So too did they die by suicide after their feet against Octavian's forces. But Taylor's modern costumes in the film, such as her figure-hugging dresses and plunging necklines, are a long way from the real style of ancient Egypt. Women would have worn conservative wraparound gowns that were made to conceal rather than reveal. This famous dramatization of the life of Moses, with Charlton Heston as the main man, was rightly showered with awards. All the North African and Middle Eastern characters would, however, not have been white, as they are seen in the film. Dancing Egyptian women definitely did not wear fluorescent green bikinis, and nor does the Bible or any other historical record say anything about a love triangle between Moses, Nefertiti and Ramesses. I could never love you. So that's all from me, but what depictions of ancient Egypt do you take issue with? If you enjoyed this video, click here to see how accurate Hollywood is when it comes to historic executions. <laughs>